Hello there friends, I hope that you're doing well. So here we have an old keyboard from Razer, uh, Razer Black Widow 2013. And if you recently bought this keyboard you might wonder how to set it up. Uh, set the, the lightning, macros and the keybinds. Now, uh, the most recent uh, Razer Synapse uh, program developed by Razer, uh, the one that can uh, allows you to to set up the the devices, it's uh, Razer Synapse 3.0, and this is the old uh, version 2.0. Okay, so since uh, this uh, keyboard is old, back then and uh, 2013 they had uh, only Synapse 2.0. And this is actually the, the program that you need. If you just install a 3.0, you'll not be able to, to manage the keyboard. Okay, so the steps are to go on a Google search for uh, download Razer Synapse 2.0. You will uh, be able to see this interface, uh, create an account or uh, login, and then you can just uh, plug in the, the keyboard and you will see it here you can uh, set up the the lightning and uh, the the keybinds also macros and then if you also have other Razer uh, products uh, modern ones like uh, have this mouse here you can also install Razer Synapse 3.0 and uh, when you do that you will see here uh, this button called Legacy Devices 2.0, when you click on it, it will actually open uh, Razer Synapse 2.0. So this is pretty much just uh, a link between the, the programs. Uh, if you only use the keyboard, you don't have other Razer uh, devices, you can only install Razer Synapse 2.0 it will save up some uh, some RAM because you'll not need 3.0 at all so from 2.0 as I said you can customize the, the keyboard uh, the keybinds I have here volume up and volume down on these uh, buttons this uh, keyboard has a light here I can enable it or disable gaming mode I don't need it and macros so now you know how to to use this old uh, Razer Black Widow 2013 with uh, Razer Synapse I hope that uh, you found the video useful if you did please subscribe and thank you for watching